Oh, this is not not to stress, you know. That's why I'm begging. You say if you get my bed, you're not outside. You say you want to after a lot of threats by the authorities and different groups, the much anticipated 10 day hunger protest was observed in several states in Nigeria. Nigerians trooped out in their numbers to share their pains to the government. Have you, have you seen the amount for house rents? You cannot pay house rents in Lagos! 10 people inside one room! People are suffering! People are hungry! And Abapio, the senior president, the unfortunate senior president, is telling us that he will be in the house eating while we are protesting. If we don't ask him, we will ask his children. Our children will ask his children what he has done to us. We are hungry, we are hungry, we are hungry, we are hungry, we are hungry. The defied warnings from non-state actors like Torrent and the threat of Oro in Lagos. In the north, they protested in large numbers. However, in the southeastern part of Nigeria, there were no protests as they categorically excluded themselves from the protests for political reasons. There were a ugly protests in the northern part of Nigeria, like Zaria, Kaduna wasn't peaceful. Approximately over 22 protesters were killed by the law enforcement agency. A lot of buildings, including the state house, now were looted. <laughs> Other public properties, including public libraries. <laughs> Police vehicles, traffic lights were destroyed. The affected northern state governors announced curfew. Excellency imposed a curfew just to 24 hours. But with the situation of things and when we observe, there is peace, absolute peace in this community, in the state. We have decided to relax the coffee from 6 to 6. In Abuja, from the first day of the peaceful protest, protesters were dispersed with tear gas by the police. In Lagos, despite the hoodlum tactics to hijack the peaceful protest at the Freedom Park in Ojota, protesters still observed protests until day 5 when it was despised by hoodlums. However, it continued till day 10 at Alausa. <laughs> After the violence in the north and the turnout of the protest, Nigerian President Bola Tinubu decided to address the public on day 4 to quell ongoing Archie protests across the country. The speech didn't offer much hope as the protest continues. Violence and destruction. As the President of this country, I must ensure public order in line with the constitutional oath to protect the lives and property of every citizen. Our government will not stand idly by and allow a few with a clear political agenda to tear this nation apart. In some parts of the North, protesters started waving Russian flags, calling for military takeover of the government. After the 10 day hunger protest, the country is now silent. Nigerians have resumed their various businesses, and the presidency has been mourned about moves to address the concerns of the protesters. So now, Nigerians are now asking what next?